welcome to thermodynamics class i am dr ravi working as assistant professor in the department of pharmaceutical engineering bvrit narsapur so this is the continuation class of fourth unit that is phase ecluia in the last two classes we discussed the first class in this unit we discussed the, uh, the uh, phase rule uh, phase rule fundamentals of vapor equilibrium in that uh, ideal gas and ideal uh, liquid uh, case a second one low pressure case uh, and that uh, activity coefficient we discussed is like uh, holds three suffix equation um, uh, margulis equation wanler equation and uh, wilson equation this is the up, up to now we discussed in the first class now in the second class we discuss the phase diagram for binary solutions like um, at constant pressure what is the phase how the phase diagrams looks like and uh, next uh, we discuss the uh, constant uh, temperature uh, equilibrium Uh, at constant temperature, how the vapor um, binary binary di phase diagrams are looks like. And after that, we discussed the vapor liquid equilibrium in uh, ideal solutions. So, uh, so in the second unit, we discussed the this the uh, content. Now, in this class, we will discuss the vapor liquid equilibrium and uh, solid liquid equilibrium and uh, vapor uh, solid vapor equilibrium. First one in that liquid liquid equilibrium. so in the previous uh, one vapor liquid equilibrium in that in this uh, uh, two liquids are equilibrium so for example two immiscible liquids when when two immiscible liquids are in equilibrium uh, what is the equilibrium composition what is the equilibrium mole fractions in a each equilibrium okay generally the liquid equilibrium phase diagrams looks like a like a dome curve uh, we can see uh, at a constant pressure at constant pressure t x y diagram when you see that uh, uh, it is like it is look like a dome shape okay so uh, uh, this 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 is a b rich phase and this is a a rich phase uh, means uh, the two liquids two liquids are in a uh, equilibrium uh, so left hand side in the diagram it represents the b rich phase means the b compound rich phase and is uh, right right hand side a compound rich phase. because the x x x is x a means because the binary mixture is composed of a plus b ha huh? a plus b liquid liquid equilibrium liquid liquid equilibrium okay so we are uh, discussing in uh, a point of view okay compound a point of view so compound a mole fractions are varying from the x axis on x axis 0 to 1 okay so that's the reason uh, this diagram a rich phase uh, and this diagram is a b rich phase okay uh, here when two liquids are uh, when two liquids are only partially miscible the equilibrium curve will be like a right side uh, right side one the dome shape region is formed by the uh, mutual solubility curves and and within the dome the mixture uh, exists as two phases the in this dome two phases are existed the composition of the equilibrium phases lie at the end of the horizontal line uh, at the uh, temperature means uh, on the on the, uh, this curve the both liquid uh, both uh, uh, means the two compounds uh, the uh, the compound a in both phases are in a equilibrium so means that is a equilibrium curve so mixture m will separate into here the m the m here the separate uh, into uh, two phases a and b okay so same nothing as here so when the two two compounds Uh, are in a um, uh, uh, liquid equilibrium then what is the equilibrium curve looks like it the equilibrium curve looks like as a dome shaped okay when you draw the diagram between the temperature at constant pressure constant pressure draw a equilibrium curve between the temperature versus uh, mole fraction so the curve looks like this okay generally Uh, in a liquid equilibrium not only the two compounds are in equilibrium there are three compounds also equilibrium that is called a uh, ternary equilibrium diagram uh, so in that in that um, in that 
a plus c is a solution a plus c is a solution okay so i want to get the, the uh, for example reactants a a a, 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 a uh, is there and they converted into the products okay so so when when the when the so reactants are converted into products uh, not only the products with, with the products some uh, by products will form but uh, i want to separate i want to separate the from the compound for one compound from their by products so in that case for example in that in that is uh, in that uh, compound a plus c are there so choose a material such a way that uh, the C because I want to get the pure A. Okay. So, in that choose a compound such a way that our solvent such a way that the C will be dissolved in the beam and fo form a form a invisible liquids. So, that when both are in invisible liquids we can easily separate. So, here is also same. Means here the three compounds are there. initially A plus 3 is a solution in that B is added. B is a solvent. Solvent is added. For example, this is a beaker. In this, A plus B are there. So now, A sorry, this is A plus C. A plus C. B solvent is added. Okay, why why it is added to separate the C from the A. So when you add the B, uh, when you add the B, the uh, it is actually uh, it is uh, invisible the b is invisible with the a or is partially invisible with the a okay this, this c is dissolved in the b okay so then what will happen what will happen so because a and b both are invisible the two layers will form that is a a uh, uh, small amount of B is there, small amount of C is there, and uh, here and this and another layer. This is B solvent, and small amount of A is there, uh, more amount of uh, I am uh, C is there. Okay, here A is the rich phase. Means this is called A rich phase is called this is raffinate. So, B rich phase is called extract. Okay. So, because here the C is a, in a small portion only. C is a small portion only, but in this extract, the C is a uh, 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 more, more amount of uh, weight percentage in a, uh, more amount of C is dissolved in a B. But less amount of C is dissolved in a A. So in this way, uh, in this way we can uh, get the uh, more or less around ninety eight percentage of pure A we can uh, we can get. Okay. So in this uh, to uh, because in this raffinate and extract in both phases the three components are there okay this is this type of uh, ternary uh, equivalent diagram is uh, is represented by uh, equilateral triangular coordinates okay so here um, here so the equilateral triangular diagram okay in the equilateral triangular diagram so a so a this is fx at the b and C. Here A is the it affects 100 percent is there. Here is the 100 percent is there, and this is the 100 percent is there. Okay, means here A is 100 percent means here, huh? Means the pure A means here A is a zero percentage. A, sorry. A compound zero percentage. Okay, here B compound, huh? B zero percentage at because at effects of uh, triangular diagram uh, the only pure compounds are there but in the uh, on the uh, um, side triangular side and uh, this this is the equilibrium of a plus c 
So this is equilibrium in this line. Equilibrium of A plus B. This is B plus C. Okay. So inside the uh, triangular diagram, the three components are there. A plus B plus C. On the F X, only pure compound is there. On the uh, on the um, uh, triangular side, uh, uh, two components are in equilibrium. But in Inside the triangular, three compounds are in equilibrium state. Okay, so um, so the when you see the so here is the R is the represents the raffinate E for extract. So these compositions and this is the equilibrium line. So so equilibrium line when you draw the equilibrium between the uh, weight fraction of C B rich phase means C a raffinate means in the raffinate, in the raffinate, A rich phase is a raffinate. So here the weight fraction of C B rich phase. Okay, means weight fraction of weight fraction of C B rich phase. Weight fraction of C in A rich phase. This is weight fraction of C A rich phase. Uh, means A rich phase means raffinate. Weight fraction of C uh, in a and B rich phase means extract, means weight fraction of C in a raffinate, this is extract. Weight fraction of C in a extract versus weight fraction of C in a raffinate. Okay, when you draw the graph between them, so the equilibrium curve is a looks like this. So on this triangular diagram, this is a ternary diagram, so it looks looking like this. So this is a uh, equilibrium line. These are the equilibrium tie lines. Okay. For example, for example, so here, so lines are like this. So perpendicular lines are the ternary compositions, and uh, these are the perpendicular lines from the. Uh, now this is the another perpendicular lines so like this for example at here at here uh, at here if you want to know the composition at here uh, of uh, this is a this represents a this is uh, this this and this means so what is the what is the uh, composition of um, what is the composition of uh, B here means here A, B, C we can A, B, C. So what is the composition of 3 we can know. So so this is a uh, tenary diagram, uh, equivalent diagram. Uh, okay. So this uh, so from there we can ex uh, we can get the um, uh, an x uh, x uh, x axis and y uh, y axis and x axis the uh, equilibrium curve. So on the I already said on the equilateral tri triangle uh, triangle the length of the altitude is allowed to represent the hundred percent composition means this one. So the length of this altitude is represents the hundred percent from the hundred percent here here hundred here zero percentage next to ten percentage twenty. 30 so on like 100 percent here is a 100 percentage okay the length of the perpendiculars from any point to the base represents the uh, percentage of three components okay these are the from any any base in perpendicular lines uh, perpendicular lines from here so it represents the uh, represents the uh, percentage of three component the fxs of the triangle represents the pure com at here the apex is here the pure uh, components of a b c respectively on the sides on the sides of triangular diagram represent the binary mixtures okay so this is about the liquid liquid for uh, ternary ternary phase diagrams next one is a solid vapor equilibrium the solid vapor equilibrium also known as sublimation equilibrium uh, it is a thermodynamic concept that describes the equilibrium state between a solid phase and uh, its a corresponding vapor phase. Means at a equilibrium, uh, a, uh, at uh, at uh, um, means vapor liquid equilibrium means uh, the vapor 
it is equilibrium with its the, the uh, solid state. The solid state is, is in a equilibrium with its vapor. Okay. In this equilibrium, the solid molecules have a enough energy to transition directly to, into the vapor and without passing through the liquid phase. So, the, the solid phase is, uh, is have enough energy to um, phase transition from the solid to vapor and, uh, and uh, these two compositions, these two phases are in equilibrium at particular, uh, at particular uh, conditions. Okay. Conversely, the vapor molecules may condense directly into solid phase. Okay. The rate of sublimation, the rate of sublimation means vapor to solid and deposition is in is uh, both are in a, at a equilibrium okay the rate at equilibrium so both are in a equilibrium the example of, uh, of a uh, substance that exhibit uh, solid vapor equilibrium is a dry ice uh, so solid carbon dioxide and crystal and these uh, solid vapor equilibria are useful for in a crystallization uh, for example uh, crystallization of salt. The salty, uh, the so, uh, the the uh, so, uh, the means uh, uh, the solid state is equilibrium with the vapor. Next, uh, solid liquid equilibria. The solid equilibria uh, represents to the uh, state in which it's a solid state, a solid phase and a equilibrium phase of a substance coexist in in balance at a given temperature and pressure. At this equilibrium, the rate at which the solid melts to become liquid is equal to rate at which the liquid freezes to become solid. Uh, solid and liquid. The liquid to the rate of uh, the rate of uh, transformation from solid to liquid and uh, the rate of uh, transformation from liquid to solid both are in equilibrium. Okay. This concept is fundamental in a thermodynamics and phase transition. The application of solid equilibria, uh, especially in a uh, uh, purification, and crystallization, and chemical separation, etc. So, like, so we have seen the liquid equilibria, phase diagrams about that, and uh, uh, solid vapor equilibria and uh, solid liquid equilibria. So, uh, with this, we completed the unit. So, outcome of this unit, the end at the end, uh, so means you are able to understand the vapor liquid equilibria and their concept, hmm, vapor solid equilibria, uh, liquid equilibria, and liquid solid equilibria uh, in a thermodynamics point of view. So, with this, we completed the unit 4 uh, of thermodynamics. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.